Vladimir Putin is a Russian politician and a former KGB intelligence officer currently serving as the president of Russia. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin was born in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Russia on October 7, 1952. Vladimir Putin's grandfather, named Spiridon Putin, was a personal cook to Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin. His father was Vladimir Spiridonovich Putin and his mother was Maria Ivanovna Putin. During World War II, his father was injured and ultimately disabled by a grenade and during the siege of Leningrad, his mother was trapped and nearly starved to death. After the war, Putin's father took a factory job and his mother swept streets and washed test tubes. Born in 1952 Leningrad, Putin was a street kid in a city devastated by a horrific three-year siege by the Nazis during World War II, a genocide described as the world's most destructive siege of a city. Most of the population of 3 million people died, 1 million starving to death. Living in a rat-infesticated apartment with two other families, his family had no hot water, no bathtub, a broken-down toilet, little or no heat. A small child, whose two older siblings are believed to have been lost to war and disease, Putin was left to fend for himself, severely bullied by other people. Putin has practiced judo since he was 11 years old before turning his attention to sambo, a Russian martial art, when he was 14. After years of being labeled a troublemaker in school, a 6th grade teacher helped him realize his potential. He excelled in high school and learned judo to defend himself. After school, Putin studied law at Leningrad State University and graduated in 1975. Putin began his career in the KGB as an intelligence officer. The branch he was assigned to was responsible for recruiting foreigners who would work to gather information for KGB intelligence. In 1980, Putin met his future wife Lyudmila, who was working as a flight attendant at that time. The couple married in 1983 and had two daughters, Maria born in 1985 and Ekaterina born in 1986. In 1985, the KGB sent him to Dresden, East Germany where he lived undercover. Around his time Putin went to East Germany, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev was beginning to introduce economic and social reforms. In Dresden, East Germany, he witnesses the fall of Berlin Wall in 1989. He was recalled from Dresden to Leningrad in 1990 just as the USSR was on the verge of collapse. In 1990, Putin returned to Leningrad and continued his undercover intelligence work for the KGB. In 1991, just as the Soviet Union was beginning to fall apart, Putin left the KGB with the rank of colonel in order to get involved in politics. He officially resigned from the KGB in August 1991. He served around 15 years in the KGB. He became an advisor to one of his former law professor Anatoly Sobchak who left the university to become chairman of Leningrad City Soviet or Council. Putin worked with Sobchak during Sobchak's successful electoral campaign. Anatoly Sobchak became the first democratically elected mayor of St. Petersburg. In June 1991, Putin became a deputy mayor of St. Petersburg and was put in charge of the city's committee for external relation. In 1996, Mayor Sobchak lost his election. The next year, Putin was asked to join President Boris Yeltsin inner circle as deputy chief administration of the Kremlin, the building that housed the Russian government. In March 1997, Putin was elevated to deputy chief of the presidential staff. In March of 1999, he was named Secretary of the Security Council, a body that advises the presidents on matters on foreign policy, national security, and military and law enforcement. In August 1999, Vladimir Putin was named in rapid succession one of Russia's first deputy prime ministers and then prime minister by President Boris Yeltsin, who also indicated Putin was his preferred successor as president. On New Year's Eve in 1999, Yeltsin unexpectedly stepped down as president, naming Putin as acting president. Immediately, Western news media and the US government scrambled to create a profile of the new Russian leader. Due to Putin's secretive background as a KGB agent, 
there was a little information. His history as a spy caused many Westerners and some Russians as well to question whether he should be feared as an enemy of the free world. In December 1999, Boris Yeltsin resigned as president of Russia and appointed Putin acting president until official elections were held and in March 2000, Putin was elected to his first term with 53% of the vote. Promising both political and economical reforms, Putin set about restructuring the government and launching criminal investigation into the business dealing of high-profile Russian citizens. He also continued Russia's military campaign in Chechnya. In Putin's first speech as acting president, he promised freedom of speech, freedom of consciousness, freedom of the press, the right to private property, these basic principles of a civilized society will be protected. In addition, Putin removed several of Yeltsin's loyalists and relatives from his cabinet. He was officially elected to the position of president in March 2000. In September 2001, in response to the terrorist attack on the United States, Putin announced Russia's support for the United States in its anti-terror campaign. However, when the United States' war on terror shifted focus to the ousting of Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein, Putin joined German Chancellor Gerhard Schröder and French President Jacques Chirac in opposition of the plan. In 2004, Putin was re-elected to the presidency and in April of the following year made a historic visit to Israel for the talk with Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, making the first visit to Israel by any Kremlin leader. Putin served two terms as Russia's president from 2000 to 2004 and from 2004 to 2008 before stepping aside in line with Russia's constitutional prohibition against three consecutive presidential terms to assume the position of prime minister. Due to constitutional term limits, Putin was prevented from running for the presidency in 2008. That same year, presidential terms in Russia were extended from four to six years. However, when his protege Dmitry Medvedev succeeded him as president in March 2008, he immediately appointed Putin as Russia's prime minister, allowing Putin to maintain a primary position of influence for the next four years. On March 4, 2012, Vladimir Putin was re-elected to his third term as president. In December 2012, Putin signed into a law of ban on U.S. adoption of Russian children. According to Putin, the legislation, which took effect on January 1, 2013, aimed to make it easier for Russians to adopt native orphans. Putin further strained relations with the United States the following year when he granted asylum to Edward Snowden, who is wanted by the United States for leaking classified information from the National Security Agency. In response to Putin's action, U.S. President Barack Obama cancelled a planned meeting with Putin that August. In early June 2013, after nearly 30 years of marriage, Putin and his wife announced that they were getting divorced, providing little explanation for the decision but assuring that they come to a mutually and amicably. Around this time, Putin also upset many people with his new anti-gay laws. He made it illegal for gay couples to adopt in Russia and place a ban on propagandizing non-traditional sexual relationship to minors. The legislation led to widespread international protests. In 2014, Russia hosted the Winter Olympics, which were held in Sochi, beginning on February 6. However, in response to what many perceive as Russia's recently passed anti-gay legislation, the threat of international boycotts arose. In October 2013, Putin tried to allay some of this concern, saying in an interview broadcast on Russian television that he will do everything to make sure that athletes, fans and guests feel comfortable at the Olympic Games regardless of their ethnicity, race or sexual orientation. Shortly after the conclusion of the 2014 Winter Olympics, amidst widespread political unrest in Ukraine, which resulted in the ousting of President of Ukraine, Viktor Yanukovych, Putin sent Russian troops in Crimea, a peninsula in the country's northeast coast of the Black Sea. The peninsula had been part of Russia until Nikita Khrushchev, former president of the Soviet Union, gave it to Ukraine in 1954. Ukraine's ambassador to the United Nations, Yuri Sergeyev, 
claimed that approximately 16,000 troops invaded the territory and Russia's action caught the attention of several European countries and the United States who refused to accept the legitimacy of referendum and which the majority of Crimean population voted to secede from Ukraine and reunite with Russia. Putin persuaded Assad to surrender Syria's weapon peacefully as opposed to the other option of aggressive intervention, likely because of his friendship with the president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad. For this, he was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 2014. In September 2015, Russia surprised the world by announcing it would begin strategic airstrike in Syria. Despite government officials' assertion that the military action were intended to target the extremist Islamic State, which made significant advance in the region due to the power vacuum created by Syria's ongoing civil war, Russia's true motives were called into question with many international analysts and government officials claiming that the airstrikes were in fact aimed at the rebel forces attempting to overthrow President Bashar al-Assad's historically repressive regime. Months prior to 2016 U.S. presidential election, multiple U.S. intelligence agencies unilaterally agreed that Russian intelligence was behind the email hacks of the Democratic National Committee, DNC and John Podesta, who had at that time been chairman of the Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's campaign. Putin denied any such attempts to disrupt the U.S. election. In late October 2017, Putin was personally involved in another alarming form of aerial warfare when he oversaw a late-night military drill that resulted in the launch of four ballistic missiles across the country. The drill came during a period of escalating tension in the region, with Russia's neighbor North Korea also drawing attention for its missile tests and threats to engage the US in destructive conflict. In December 2017, Putin announced he was ordering Russian forces to begin withdrawing from Syria, saying the country's two-year campaign to destroy ISIS was complete, though he left open the possibility of returning if terrorist violence resumed in the area. In March 2018, toward the end of his third term, Putin boosted off a new weaponry that would render NATO defenses completely worthless, including a low-flying nuclear-capable cruise missile with unlimited range and another one capable of traveling at hypersonic speed. His demonstration included video animation of attacks on the United States. On March 18, 2018, the fourth anniversary of the country's seizure of Crimea, Russian citizens overwhelmingly elected Putin to a fourth presidential term with 67% of the electorate, turning out to award him more than 76% of the vote. While there had been tensions between Russia and Ukraine, the situation began getting out of control in early 2021. In January 2021, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged US President Joe Biden to let Ukraine join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. NATO is a group of 30 countries including the US, UK, France and Germany. The NATO too is open to make Ukraine its member which has annoyed Russia big time. The core of the NATO treaty is Article 5, a commitment that an attack on any NATO country is treated as an attack on the entire alliance. Meaning, any Russian military engagement of hypothetical NATO member Ukraine would theoretically bring Russia into conflict with the US, the UK, France and the 27 other NATO members. After the Soviet Union collapse, NATO expanded eastward eventually taking in most of the European nations that had been in the communist sphere. The Baltic Republic of Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia, once part of the Soviet Union, joined NATO as did Poland, Romania and others. Russia demanded that NATO stop its eastward expansion and deny membership to Ukraine. But the US and NATO rejected those demands. NATO's open-door policy says sovereign countries can choose their own security alliance. Vladimir Putin claims Ukraine is a puppet of the West and was never a proper state anyway. Russia doesn't want NATO to allow Ukraine to become its members and it will expand the grouping's footprints to its border. Russia thinks that if Ukraine becomes member of NATO, it might try to take back Crimea by military action. In July 2021, Putin wrote a 5,000-word article elaborating on his long-stated belief that Ukrainians and Russians are one people. 
The articles stated that Ukrainian soldiers fought alongside Russians for the great common motherland during World War II. Russia started sending troops near its Ukraine border for training exercise in spring 2021 and increased it during autumn 2021. On February 24, 2022, Russian military forces enter Ukraine and begin a full-scale assault across airfields, military headquarters, major cities and ports. Although Russia's war in Ukraine has yet to deliver any significant military victories and its economy is wobbling towards the worst recession since the fall of the Soviet Union. Putin married Lyudmila Skravneva in 1983. The couple had two daughters together, Maria and Katerina, who Putin rarely mentions and have never been seen by the Russian people. In 2013, the couple announced their divorce on mutual grounds, stating that they did not see each other enough. Putin's marriage with Lyudmila lasted for 30 years. Once Vladimir Putin reached his presidential seat, he has remained in the seat of power until this day. Starting as acting president in 1999, he was elected as the official president a few months later in 2000. He was then re-elected in 2004 for a second term, but could not campaign for the third term due to constitutional limits. Vladimir maintained his seat of power by having his people, Dmitry Medvedev, succeeded him and then designate Vladimir as Prime Minister again. After Medvedev's terms was up, Vladimir was re-elected as President in 2012 and has remained in power until this day. Thank you.